Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make a pop-up vase card and it's very dimensional, folds flat for the post. Now, mine's going to need a box card because I've used dimensional flowers inside and outside, which are an SVG file that I have designed and cut. Um, it's available for sale in my Etsy shop and there's a YouTube demo on it as well. So I will leave links in the description for that. I'm also working on a font and I've designed the font and that's SVG as well, so it's going to have everything. You can cut everything out. But anyway, we digress. So this card, onto this card. Look. Oh my goodness me. A vase. Now that is a dimensional vase, is it not? So lots and lots of dimension with this card. Now, like I say, I use my cutting files for my daffodils. But you can put fat flowers in there, which is what we're going to do. Um, so you can see that it works. Um, really easy to do. There are a lot of videos out there which make it really complicated and I haven't managed to find one where I've thought yeah so I've worked it out another thing while I've got the card open I've made the measurements of the card and the vase to work so that it sits when it's open right in the center of the card you've got equal distances on the side of the vase now if that's important to you which it is to me then um you know use the measurements i've used which we'll go through right now and thanks everyone that has subscribed liked and commented on my channel i appreciate all of you um yeah i've been a little bit too busy lately to put many on but i'm getting there now getting a little bit more organized so what we're going to be making is pretty much this is the mechanism it's not a lot is it and card blank so a4 or eight and a half by 11 cut it down to 11 with your a4 and you can have whatever height you want so leave the height as it is eight and a quarter or eight and a half you can make it shorter the vase is three inches high so just bear in mind you need to have room for flowers but if you want to make a square card you could um you can alter the dimensions if you want to but i'm not going to do like every dimension you could do obviously you can and once you get the gist of it you'll understand so we need that in a minute just put it up there for a second now the other thing i've got is a piece of card right now this is three inches by two and seven eighths this one is like i say ten and a quarter by three if i didn't then i'm telling you now <laughs> just can't remember dory so that's those two we're going to be using and this is what we're going to be making so this is just scored at one five nine and three quarters the dark areas take away ws means wrong side and um, tape goes on the right side so we'll go through it as we go so what we're going to do is score it like it says at one at five and at nine and three quarters okay so that's that done now if you've got a paper trimmer you just make these trim lines here here one in gym from each side or one in two however you like to do it um just up to that so we're leaving that little piece there so i'm going to do it with the scoreboard and then we'll cut it with scissors but if you've got a trimmer then use your trimmer if you haven't then use ruler pencil and scissors so everyone can make this so that's that bit. Let's move the scoreboard out of the way, actually. I don't think I'll need it anymore. Maybe squash my card. That's for my mum on Sunday. It's Mother and Sunday in the UK. And it's Wednesday today, so I really need to get that posted. So I need to do a video. Video on this card, because it's so cute. Right, so I've just folded all those three vertical lines that we did on the long width there. That's what you want to call it. I'll make up my own words as I go along. You'll get used to me. So what we're going to do now is cut away these pieces that we've said we're going to cut away. So the middle bit goes out of this. So actually, before I do that, I've got a top tip. So decide which is your right side. This can be my right side. And put tape on the right side at each end. So go across all of it and then you don't have to faff around cutting funny shaped pieces of tape at the end. This one you only need a bit on the middle will go over it a little bit more than the middle. So that's going to be our right side now. So I'm going to turn it over to the wrong side to cut it so the tape is hiding my lines. So we're only cutting away the middle one here. So just do lines down to there. And then the easiest way to do it, because that one's going to be gone, fold it over or even fold these over and then it's easier to cut so fold the edge ones the one you want gone is not folded and then you can match it up to the ones you have folded and get a nice straighter cut it's top tip day so there was two so now i need a little bell that goes ding if only i had software to do that oh i, I don't know i'm not the techie 
not the tip. I might cut my tabs down a bit though because I don't like things showing. So if we just move these away a little bit like that, get them angled. And that's going to go inside like that. This will come around here and that will come up like that. That's the way it works. But we're going to cut these off first. We need to get rid of the two outside ones now. So we're going to cut down those lines that we marked. Each one. Like so. And then make sure you don't cut the middle one out. <laughs> Done that before. See. So we want to keep that one so let's tuck it behind because I want it and then we can do the same thing and get these nice and flush. Flush! Where have I gone? I've gone up north I think. <laughs> okay so that was our wrong side that's how we cut it like that that's basically what we did there okay that's what we did there. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do before we put this into the card is add my um, little piece here now this is two and seven eighths by three make sure the two and seven eighths is that way okay otherwise the pot won't the card won't shut properly it will get stuck wonder how i know that yeah so put your three line your three inch piece up like this you can see we've got an extra bit there so it's shorter than that so take it out two and seven eighths is this way pop it in there and basically I could have put tape on both sides and yeah that would have been good wouldn't it um pull that over so when you do that you can do that but we need to put tape on this piece anyway because this is gonna hide the mechanism what it actually does I'll tell you what it does if you it hides the mechanism but the other thing it does it helps you see how that comes away there if you didn't have any mechanism see that little bit starts there my when the pot's open it's not away from the card at all when the card's open. Oh, I can't show. See, it doesn't fall away from the card because you've got that piece in there holding it down. If you didn't have that, it would be more flappy until you got to these tabs. So it's definitely better to have that. So the other thing you could do is make longer tabs, I guess. Never thought of that, but I like holding the mechanism, so we'll do that. But you could make this two and seven eighths and flip them over you know if you know what i mean crack on <laughs> enjoy <laughs> we're going to do it this way so we're going to pop tape on that i'm always thinking of better ways while i'm doing it and it probably is a better way but it's more card no it's not more card is it it's the same because that would just be like that and you would cut there so you can change the measurements and instead of having that one inch there make two and seven eighths so that would be extended to two and seven eighths if you wanted it to be one whole thing cut the middle out the only thing i would say is um you're gonna have to be a little bit ca no don't do that it's not gonna work i digress it, it will work but it's going to be a lot more complicated than what i think so we just leave it so we're just going to put bits of tape across there and there like that Now bear in mind this tape is now exposed and we're going to expose this tape too. Put those two bits there on our tabs and on there as well. So you can see we've got all our tape going along top and bottom of our little extra piece like that. And then this one is going to come around and not touch any tape because okay, this is our mechanism you don't want which is why we're only putting it at the top and the bottom then we're going to turn it over so the tabs are here this side open up the card now the way you see it on youtube is everyone does this bit first and then they're trying to arch the card and get it in and close the card and get it stuck all at the same time it's a nightmare so don't do that do it this way it's easier so just line this up either at the bottom or a little bit away from the bottom entirely up to you the important part is this tab needs to be touching or the edge of this card needs to be touching the score line and then you can just push everything down now you see there it's right on the score line okay so butt it up to the score line and then push everything down you'll notice 
tape has not been exposed on that little bit and it's really important you don't do that if you do it's gone wrong you probably have to start again so now if you want to do any matting and layering do it now while it's flat because once it's curved it's going to be a lot harder to glue anything to and the only way you're going to be at, when you open this card the only way it's going to be is curved once you've done this bit so we've exposed the tape and we're pulling back and put my fingers all over and probably lost a bit of the tape there so i'll put a little bit more glue on as well on the side of the tape just in case so you're pulling it forward it was up to score line you're pulling it to the left and then closing the card on it and you're going to let that take make sure it's taped and you can just give it an all a rub down because you've got glue and tape everywhere make sure everything's working inside put lid back on my glue while i'm being patient get me being all patient first and then when you open the card i'm going to hold that in case it isn't stuck and give it a rub down and you can see it's already done the magic and we've got our little piece mechanism in the back there now trust me if that was three inches you can have a look in my bin it won't work that'd be stuck like that and the card won't open you need it to go flat to be right up to there so two and seven eighths is your measurement by three high so there's your pot okay now obviously we've got no weight on there and it's not used to being open so i just put my scissors there to stop it from opening and then i said i'll use flat flowers <laughs> well i pop some pearls on there i can't help myself so what we'll do is just put some flowers in just as you can see how you do it so all you would do is glue some flowers to the back however you want those and whatever arrangement you want I might change that actually oh i don't know and then i've got some smaller ones with very long stems which i'm going to cut down and you just put the glue on the front of those so you put some in the card and some on the front piece now there's one thing that you do need to bear in mind okay and that is when you're putting these flowers in bear in mind that when this card closes if you can see the brown moves over i'm going to hold this up right to there so you can have a flower doing that it looks all right when it's here but when you close the card it'll be poking out the side of the card so what you do is you never let it go any more than that much over the edge of the card which is about a quarter of an inch so you can have it angled very slightly like that and it won't come out or just keep it within the card restriction so you just put glue on the front of your flower so you have ones laid down in the back if you want or you can pop one on here i'm going to put this pink one up so you put glue on the stem front of the stem you you do it all the way down and cut your stems to be exact i'm just doing it quick for um the video and then just hold that in place let the glue take and then what you can do is add some foliage in there foliage 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 yeah that stuff the green stuff add some green stuff in <laughs> i always say that word wrong and i always have to think it doesn't sound right and then it is the one that's probably right i just pop some of that in there as well some that green stuff in there <laughs> i feel i feel like i'm yes stupid never mind oh what is that so just put some glue on the front of these if they're going to be going at the front what is that everywhere a bit of um invisible thready type stuff and then what you can do you see if you have it open you can put weighted things on there to keep it open so you can see how it's going to look when the person who's getting the card opens it fully so we can have some at the back now the ones at the back we can just glue those flat so you just put some glue on there pop that down on the inside like that so we can just glue them down i've got some different types of leaves here so it's up to you if you want to curl them or just leave it it depends how flat you want the card to go for posting etc we can just put different leaves in the background why not it's our card we can do what we want but it builds up really quick so if you love flower making there's a lot of um designers that make flowers all the time you know that's one of the things they do like susan tinnie coburn and kathy mills 
they're, um, they make lots and lots of flowers and they're beautiful handmade flowers and I do it when I've got time but just going to throw those little pieces off now I think I'm going to cut it it's a bit too long cut that one I'm just going to run glue down there have that one I'll put a leaf on that I've put too much glue on there haven't I you can see how it builds up really nice, doesn't it? Quite like that. I was going to put it flat on the back, but I'm really glad I didn't. I think it looks... Because it's got a long stem, it's falling backwards a bit. As long as it's not too wonky. You can go in the same place. Look at me being all symmetrical again. Can I help it? Make sure this flower isn't coming over the edge, look. Is that rubbed down for now? You can see... So when we close the cardlet, obviously it's not decorated, you've only got the depth of those pearls there. And then when you open it up, I mean, obviously you're going to have more foliage and flowers, etc. Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And you can imagine that decorated. It'd be beautiful. Put a little petal down. So thanks, guys, for watching. Have fun. And um, I'll see you again soon. I have got another thing I've designed. <laughs> Stay tuned. See you later. Bye.